Well, hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jay, and today uh, we're just going to give a quick look at the Generation 3 Focusrite Scarlet 4i4. Well, Focusrite just upgraded their entire line of Scarlet audio interfaces, and I'm very lucky to have one on the bench. This one is actually a brand new model they're introducing. This is the 4i4, which means four inputs and four outputs and that actually replaces the 2i4 which they used to have which is two inputs and four outputs and who would want that when you can have four of each right uh, you might be wondering why I have uh, two cables coming out of it the reason why is I'm actually capturing all the audio for this video with this interface right over here Looking at these new units, you can tell they've definitely kept with the classic Scarlet look. Uh, it has that red and black kind of color scheme going on, as well as the uh, light up halo indicators for the gain knob. Uh, but the new models definitely have a more streamlined look overall, just a lot less cluttered on the face, just really intuitive and simple. The biggest change, however, is the upgraded preamps. Uh, they decided to get a lot of the concepts from their higher end models, bringing it down uh, to this consumer unit right over here. Uh, you're going to get a little bit more fidelity, a little bit more headroom, as well as the addition of an air function, which uh, just adds just a little bit more clarity and sparkle to your sound. Of all the interfaces they introduced, the one I decided to try out was the 4i4 because in my opinion, I think this is the best grab and go, beat it up and throw it around, take it anywhere kind of interface that they offer and I'm going to tell you why. This thing has two inputs in the front which can take instruments, mic level or line level and then extra two inputs on the back as well as uh, four quarter inch outputs, MIDI in and MIDI out. This unit is compatible with Focusrite control, which is just awesome. You can change your settings, change your levels, change your patching really, really quickly and on the go. Save yourself different presets depending on the recording situation you are in. And with this particular unit, you do have access to a loopback function. Just super, super handy for all you people uh, that are doing gaming videos or want to capture audio for your computer. Just a very quick, simple way to get your work done. One great plus of being able to have those two line outputs in the back is it's very easy to patch in some outboard gear that you could use while you're tracking uh, from the front too. And the extra two outputs are also handy if you ever want to do a reference monitor, standard monitor setup, making your mixing so much faster and easy. And did I also mention that this unit is also the highest model that they offer that is still completely bus powered, so you don't need a power supply to run this thing. So in my opinion, this is the way to go. For all of you previous Scarlet users that are thinking to upgrade, you're probably doing it for the preamps and that little extra air control. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run my acoustic guitar through one of these preamps and I'm gonna play it without the air and with it on. So let's go hear what that sounds like.
Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please keep commenting and please keep subscribing. Uh, my question for all of you people out there in YouTube land is, uh, what audio interface are you rocking for your portable rig? So maybe not your home recording situation, but for your on the go, keep it in the suitcase kind of thing. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you're all using. And uh, I guess that being said, I will see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.